The latest from our daily newsletter at podnews.net. Podsites has terminated its contract with Libsyn's AdvertiseCast. According to a notice on Podsites' website, Podsites' attribution will not be available to advertisers attempting to run campaigns on Libsyn's AdvertiseCast from October the 11th. Podnews understands a notice of termination was sent after a Libsyn employee accosted a female Podsites staff member at a virtual event in April. But the banner only appeared after Podsites was called malicious and ignorant by the same person, Lipsin's Rob Walsh, during a session at Podcast Movement. Here's a clip of some of that speech. I want you to thank Podsites, and I want you to thank other people that are doing this for f***ing this community. The speech was described as aggressive. We're told it's part of a pattern of targeted behaviour against Podsites. We have a statement from Amy Fitzhenry, the general counsel at Podsites, and from Lipsin's advertise cast in our show notes and our newsletter today. Separately, Lipsin has paid a 100 $147,000 penalty after it failed to file registration statements with the SEC. The company will pay those penalties monthly until it files. It doesn't anticipate filing until December. It made an investor presentation earlier this week highlighting recent acquisitions and its long-term ad sales strategy. Audioboom rejected a $258 million offer from a private equity firm in July, but held more talks with them last week. All active asset capital has until September the 13th to make a better offer. Wondery has announced a strategic partnership with Tinkercast, the children's podcast company responsible for, among others, Wow in the World. Wondery gains exclusive rights to distribution, ad sales and merchandise. New Tinkercast content will be released a week early on Wondery Plus and their Apple Podcasts channel. Pocket, a Mozilla-owned internet reading platform, has teamed up with Slate for reading lists from Slate's most popular podcasts. Cameron Esposito has been announced as the keynote speaker for She Podcasts Live in mid-October. And Claire Stevens, the editor-in-chief of Mamma Mia, is to be promoted to executive editor in mid-October. And in podcast news, Kid, Don't Kill My Vibes, latest episode has an exclusive interview with Alison Renault, a Oklahoma-based mother of 11 children who recently helped 10 members of the Afghan girls' robotics team escape Afghanistan. And God Save the Queen, Podcast Essentials talks to a proper Brit, Jake Warren, the founder and CEO of Bristol-based podcast agency Message Heard, about the UK podcasting scene. Jolly good show. Cup of tea? And that's the latest from our newsletter. For all the links and those statements in full, you'll find us at podnews.net. 